Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of 30 NSG. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about the finals battle pass. It takes more than 100 hours to finish and the players are arguing to the devs not to make it such a huge time sink in the future. Hell, that's a, that's a really long title. That's a really long title. I like to comment. I like to criticize the title. Can we shorten this just a bit? Like, final battle pass takes more than 100 hours. Right? And like, question mark? Something? I don't know. That was a really long title. All right, so let's get into it. Completing the finals battle pass takes a lot of time and energy, and the players are feeling the burn. The finals enjoyed a hugely successful launch with player numbers reaching 10 million in just 15 days. But as fun as, they, as some find the free-to-play shooter, for others, the grind of the, progress, uh, of the progress through the battle pass is all too much. Now, we, we've seen this in the past with other like battle passes and whatnot. It takes too long to go through it, and they adjust and stuff. And I find it kind of funny, right? Because each their own, each company is starting for the first time, trying to put certain things in games. But if they have their ear to the, ra uh, the railroad tracks, you know what I mean? They can figure out that past games before their game came out had the same type of problem. I mean, just off the top of my head, I can think of uh, uh, Halo Infinite. I could think of uh, Call of Duty. I can think, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, sea of Thieves. They all had this like problem where it was it was too long, uh, not enough in there. But let's uh, let's continue. Uh, the season one pass, which runs until March 12th, was a total of 96 levels and grants players various cosmetic rewards and current uh, currency to spend in game. But as players have discovered, it can't take an it can take an hour or more uh, to uh, go up a single level. So at around 100 hours in total, it's a huge time sink. Probably takes longer, I would assume, as it gets uh, as it gets longer or higher. Over the final subreddit, players have been uh, vetting their frustration. I don't see how it's uh, sustainable uh, sustainable uh, for the game, says CBNT, not the game kind. Uh, Battle Pass, do not take this long in any of the big games anymore. As the player points out, it adds insult to injury. The game's weekly challenges don't carry over, which they argue makes it impossible to finish unless... You've got a heck of a lot of time on your hands. I really hope the devs fix this the next season because I can I can't see myself buying the game pass or the uh, the pass again if it stays out as, as they added. So also not a fan. Uh, another person says I do. Who describes battle passes that require a hundred or more hours? Not realistic, and says that they can't become a norm. Instead, they're all uh, and others think that the finals should follow the footsteps of likes Apex Legends, Fortnite, Halo, in which offers passes that are more manageable. Imagine that, like other people saying the exact same thing because we're not like behind living behind a rock. We've seen other battle passes in the past and they've all made these changes. So you get a brand new game coming out, making the ex exact same mistakes as other players. Now, I understand if financially they look at this and go, well, we want people to play our game. And how do we get people to play our game? Because it's about time. They want people to stay in their game to play. Right? They don't want you to play a little bit and go, oh, I'm going to go play something else. They want you in their time. Time is the currency in video games now. Okay? The longer you stay in, the more time you have to purchase something in their free-to-play game or whatnot. So as a community, it says we should really push it for Halo Infinite type pass, says JMC uh, Draywolf. Uh, you buy it, you, go, uh, you get to work towards any at any time and if you have multiple battle passes that aren't completed you can pick which one to go through exactly that's the way it should be right not all opposed though to this and way things currently are though as more play time means better value for money i'm happy with how it works and comments uh, nathan uh, karokin uh, says i wouldn't want to be done with the pass or battle pass in the first month he says also says that like how it works it reminds me of those that who aren't so keen that is an optional part of the experience I like when people say it's an optional part. The optional part is fine if it doesn't expire. But if you pay for the battle pass and you don't have the time to put in it, it's not an optional thing. You paid money for it, and now you want to earn the stuff that you have. And because you put the money up front, you got to put the time in, and you have to sink that time with that money that you spent so you can get the stuff. If it was optional, it would be what the other user said, where it's like Halo, where you buy the battle pass, and you take your time with it. If you want it to be 100 hours, fine. Let it be 100 hours, but it better not expire, and I can, I can continue working towards it uh, for value, okay? It says Battle Pass owners aren't the only ones 
for which the grind is all too real. As recently, the top ranked player fell asleep during a live stream while trying to maintain the top spot on the finals leaderboard. Well, that, that's fantastic. As for what's in store for season two, well, so far anyone's guess as the first person shooter isn't getting content roadmap because developers in Bark Studios rather uh, nobly only wants to make promises it can't keep. And we talked about that a couple days ago and I, I like that, I hate roadmaps, right? Like shut up, don't tell us anything until you have something that's official and then put it out because we know it's coming out. Uh, what do you guys think about this? Uh, do you think battle passes should take 100 hours and you know you pay your money up front and if you don't finish it, oh well, it's just optional? Or do you feel it should be like the Halo battle pass where you pay the money and you take your time with it? It could be 100 hours, but it never expires. There's no FOMO in it. Let me know in the comments section down below. Please make sure you share, like, and subscribe. These are just a couple of my thoughts. Uh, I'd like to hear yours as well. Maybe you'll like some of these other videos that we watch. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one.